Hello City of Malden. Um, I'm here at the Community Unity event at the Malden High School Courtyard. I'm here with these two fellas who um, decided to take their time to come out tonight and enjoy the event. Uh, would you guys like to tell us a little bit about yourselves? I'm Paul McFeeters. I'm the pastor in Malden at the Forestdale Community Church and we were one of, I'm one of the faith leaders of Malden that helped put this on and I'm glad to be here tonight. Great, great, great. And about you? My name is Justin Gottlieb. I'm one of the pastors at Seven Mile Road Church, also here in Malden, and I uh, was excited to be here. Has this movement affected you personally at all? Just deeply in terms of uh, compassion for people and uh, um, my own kids asking me questions about why is this happening in our country and, uh, um, and really my own uh, church community just deeply grieved at uh, the violence that's perpetrated on one another. Yes, I just have a firm conviction that this is not the way it's supposed to be. There's not supposed to be people dying in the streets, whether police officers, whether black men, anyone else. There's not supposed to be people dying in the streets. That's just not what we were made for. And so I'm here because just out of this firm conviction that um, we were created for far more than that. Uh, what's happening around our country and throughout the world to have a city like ours come together to preach peace, hope and unity I just couldn't be more proud as mayor and as a resident of our city. Great, great. Now, are there any plans for the city of Malden to combat what's going on right now? Yeah, we believe this is just the beginning. It emanated from our quarterly interfaith roundtable. So I get together with all of the religious leaders in our city. And uh, just last week, we came up with this concept. And here we are tonight. And we're already talking about the next several events we want to do together. Uh, Catherine, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you, Kamal. Thank you for having me. My name is Catherine Bordenaro. I am a Ward 7 school committee member. I was born and raised here. Um, I went to Malden Public Schools my whole entire life, and um, I'm proud to serve on the school committee. I support the community and, and how diverse Malden is. It's one of the most diverse cities in our country. Um, and, you know, I just want to spread love and, and, and unify together and disarm hate. I am Liliana Orozco from Malden TV. This is Councillor Anderson. Hi, how are you? Well, good evening and thank you for the opportunity of being here. Uh, I want to start by saying I couldn't be more pleased with, uh, with our community. Uh, I've lived here in the city of Malden all of my life, all of my 72 years of life. And, and when I think about what, has, what is going on throughout the rest of the country, where we have this these clashes between the police and the community, where we have people of color being killed in situations by law enforcement officials. We know that something is wrong. Something is wrong when, when uh, police officers are, are the target of, uh, of, 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 of shots and murder and so forth by community people. Something is wrong. Here in Malden, we've got a really uh, uh, a wonderful city where the relationship between our police department and our community is such that we're able to talk with one another. There isn't a disconnect here in Malden where you'll find a disconnect in so many of these other cities where there's such tragic activities go on. Uh, tonight we were able to uh, recognize the law enforcement officials who have been the victims of these killings. I believe as well we need to make sure that we remember all of the people of color who have been killed at the hands of law enforcement officials. We've got to find a way to talk with one another and as was said tonight we need to, we need to be able to empathize with one another, stand in one another's shoes so we can figure out how we correct this problem that has been a stain on, on, our, on our country. But I'm so proud that our city comes together in a multicultural way to, to let the world know that we're a unique city and that we're so pleased to be together with one another across color, class, gender lines. Well, I would just like to say thank you to Malden Access Television for covering this event. It's one thing to put on you know, such a ceremony, but it's another thing to have it captured and be able to share it throughout our city. And so uh, hats off to you and the team uh, for being here tonight.